ESPN came out with their own 100. You know what I'm saying? I think they were slick. It ain't mine. They got somebody, they got somebody spying on, put it on some. Oh. They got somebody perusing our channel. And, and somebody said, you know what? Those guys did some lists. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We got to come on. You know, I'm, 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 I'm tripping. You know what I'm saying? They do a perennial list, America. We know. <laughs> they do. Uh, they you do. know what's my. They list ain't they as cold as ours. List. You don't know. No, it is not. They do a perennial list. They do their uh, top 100. Uh, but you know, we did each of us did a top 15. All right, so we ain't gonna do the whole 100. You understand? Know mm-hmm. We're just looking at the 15. I want to ask my brothers, do any, any of you feel vindicated? Looking at the ESPN list, is they supposed to be the mothership, they supposed mm-hmm. to be uh, uh, the worldwide leader in sports. Do any of y'all look at their list compared to your own list and say, you know what, they show that I got the best list? Now, I will say this, just a little bit of feedback I have received. I have one viewer I know of who told me Caesar has the best list. Oh, He he agreed with your your views on KD being the top dog. Yeah. Um, I had one viewer uh, that liked what I did. Uh, I had one viewer say they were actually being swayed by T's view <laughs> that LeBron Raymond James C <laughs> is the eighth best player yeah. in the world. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, I know the God. I know the real God. Is that Muhammad Ali was that's saying? What he, that's what he said. That's what he said. Now. That is what he said. For real. And, I, and I'm sure viewers were also out there you know, siding with JoJo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so we've been we've been having folks kind of picking and choosing. You know what That's I'm saying? Great. But great. did you look at the ESPN list, guys, and feel like, yeah, they 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 showed that I was the right one anyway? T, I start with you. First of all, Jokic is too low. Okay, Jokic is too low. Embiid is, I think they said Yoke is six, Embiid is seven. Um, they're too low. Okay. Look, let, 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 let's go to the let's go to what was inflammatory in my list. Let's just do that. Can we do that please. for a minute? Okay. Please, please do because Joe please. missed out on that. Number three. Oh, please number do three. That. <laughs> number three was LeBron James. Yeah. All right. They see it. One big question. Can James help a Lakers team with 10 fresh faces? Coalesce into a championship team from the jump. Yes. James has four titles under yes. his belt already and has long cemented his legacy as one of the true greats that play the game. No five, doubt. Five low. But adding a ring at age 37 will certainly boost his quest for universal GOAT recognition. I ain't going that the, far. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, that far. Right. Okay. Swing skill. It says James averaged a career best 2.33 pointers made per game last season and shot 36.5% from deep, which accounted for his fourth most accurate season from his career for his career. With Westbrook added to the mix as another playmaker, it will be interesting to see if James Ain can benefit from the types of looks he's gonna get from people like Westbrook creating. I'm gonna say no. But I get, I, again, I took him at eight because of what he was not going to, what, what he didn't deliver in the playoffs. And that's my problem with it. ESPN is going to rightly have him at three because Paul Pierce told us all why he's going to be at three because they love to talk about LeBron James. That's what Paul told me. I don't think the list was bad, but I do think Jokic should have been in the five. Him oh, or MB. Him or MB. Him or MB. It didn't matter. Who, who you taking out of day five then? Hold on. Hold on. Let me go. Let me go back. Because I just I just hit the button too soon. I think they had Doncic at four, right? Correct. They did. They got a slide. I, I do. I knew what you were gonna do. I they knew what slide. you were gonna do. I can't say what it is <laughs> right now. Doncic has six. Doncic's gotta be six or seven. They got a slide. Disrespect. He got a slide. This is this anti-European, this, this nationalism. How am I anti-European this when I've been riding for Jokic? That's true. I, I, I apologize. That's true. <laughs> I'm the Jokic guy on this panel. Yeah. That's true. I apologize. So that's where I'm at. I'm, I'm, Jokic's got to be one of the top five players. Oh, How you going to have oh, your MVP yeah. not top five? 
You gonna have your MVP of the league, not top five? Because it's a team award. It is? Yes. Yes. When Chuck Chuck Barkley won his MVP, his team had the best record in the league. He wasn't a better player than Michael Jordan in 1993, but his team had the best record in the league. I'm, I'm gonna let you go to the, I'm gonna let you go to the other guys and I'm gonna go research that. that. I heard that disrespect. We're gonna do a segment on that and address that. Cause y'all just keep doing that to KG and I don't like it. <laughs> Caesar, did you feel vindicated to have KD? I did at number one in the ESPN right. I did, I did, I did. Finally, somebody is, is, is seeing what I'm saying. Um, because like you said, with team success, and again, I'm not I'm not sleeping on, on Giannis by any means. Like, I don't I don't mind that people have, other people have Giannis at number one. That's totally fine, just for my money. I just think if you put KD in a similar situation, not even a similar situation, if he just has James Harden healthy and Kyrie Irving playing, I think he wins the title. And then all of a sudden, everybody says he's number one. So that's just, but again, team success can help you be a one or a two. Um, so I did feel vindicated in that. I feel like ESPN is off. They're off when it comes to uh, Trey Young not being in their top 15. Yes. When you watch Trey Young and what he accomplished this year and the numbers he put up with the accomplishments, that'd be a top 15 player. Now, where I think I was wrong, because you always should be able to give yourself or at least admit when you're wrong, give yourself a mulligan. I think I was wrong with Bradley Beal. Like, now that I can see you guys, if y'all have talked about it, and then you see these guys with their analysis breaking into it, I got no problem with saying uh, Bradley Beal should be in my top 15. He should be in my top 15. So, if we were doing a mulligan, that's my one mulligan. I need to be able to say Bradley Bill is a top 15 player. Um, everything else, like I said, for me, once you get top 10, man, it's moving pieces. I do think Luca's too high, but I'm also a it's fan of Luca. I'm, I'm I'm also a fan of Luca. So if you put him in the top five, I'm not I'm not offended by that. I just think that's disrespectful to other guys. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give anybody a hard time for believing in Luca Doncic his potential, his right now, and all of that. Um, because he is going to be, for a long time, for a long time, a top five player in the NBA. JoJo, how does their list compare to yours, dog? Uh, I need y'all to read me the top five. Top five? Yeah. Okay, I got you, I got you, I got you. All right, you want me to go five to one or well, one go to, to one? Five? Go one to do? five. Go one to five. <laughs> well, we go yeah. one to five like T talking. Yeah, go one to five. All mm. right, number one, they got one Kevin Durant who mm. explained uh, to one. Uh, what, what's my guy name that hosted the Late Show? Oh, David Letterman. <laughs> That's Kevin great. Durant who explained great. to David Letterman that uh, his nickname is KD because. <laughs> His first name starts with a K, last name starts with a D. Pretty okay. Uh, he nailed that. He nailed that. That's pretty good. He number two, that. they had Giannis under the Kumpo, the boy from Africa, yeah. who should be number one. Uh, number three, they had LeBron Raymond James Sr. weighing in at 275 pounds. Now they said he didn't slim down a little bit. All right. Yeah. Uh, at number four, they had Luka Doncic. All right. The boy from Eastern Europe. And at number five, they had the baby-faced assassin, the boy that show up to the Met Gala with his boo thing with him, the boy who gotcha. got Drake rapping about his boo thing, Stephen Curry. All right. So my, my take on me real short. Okay. Because they list is not like mine. They had it wrong. Uh, <laughs> uh. But right now, Luca can't be in your top five. What are y'all <laughs> can't be hey, top no, five, hey, right? hey, hey, I didn't hey. have him in my top five either. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just about to say, hey, I, I was waiting for you to go so I can say, wait a minute, this man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he done snapped. Yeah, that's right. All three that's right. times. That's right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. None, of, none of y'all said it. So I was like, okay. Uh, I, was I was just waiting. waiting. I was just waiting. Yeah. Uh, T, I'm with you. Jokic. He has to be in the top five. Yeah. Jokic has to be in the top five. I'm shocked. They, they didn't have Joel Embiid. I think Joel Embiid is in that conversation at this point. Like, he dominated. Now, granted, we know they fell short. Um, 
I can honestly say I don't think they fell short because of him. Mm. But I mean, uh, still, I don't know. I I, I would put still top ten. I, I wouldn't quite go five just yet. So, I, well, the only problem I really have is Luca is too high. He's too high. He's top ten. He's not top five. So now had, for the man who has them highest rated. You had KD one as well? No, no, no. Mm-hmm. I, I had Giannis as one. Yeah. Okay. I thought so I, I wasn't really good. tripping because one, two. I'm I, tripping. I wasn't really tripping. I'm tripping. I, I just go for the blasphemy with Luca. Tell I'm them tripping. why tell them why you tripping again. For for the people who may not have called called the others, tell them why you why you feel like ESPN is tripping on that. Because uh, they, they are paying lip sir. Oh, you talking me or Joe? Oh, either one, either one. Because because I'm the only one that picked KD, so that's what I'm saying. For y'all, why is ESPN tripping in this case? Hello, T. Who you picked at one? I had Giannis. Yeah, you picked oh, Giannis. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because ESPN is paying lip service to defense again. That's that's what they're doing. They're paying lip. First of all, KD missed a lot of games too last year. Like KD. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Been hurt a lot, and his like his durability is questionable as well. He got he got hurt in OKC. He got hurt with Golden State. He sat out a lot last year with Brooklyn. I know he got all these physical gifts, but his durability is is questionable as well. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just like Kyrie, if Kyrie's durability was not questionable, he would have easily been in my top fifteen. Easily, like he's a one way guy, true enough. But his offensive bag is is immaculate. It's, nah, nah. That's yeah. a great word, too. It, 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 it's, it's oh my yeah. god, it's it's yeah. it's insane. Uh, but his durability is questionable, but so is KD. I can't say that about Giannis. Uh, Giannis's defense is better than KD. KD's bag is bigger than Giannis's bag for novices out there, just. The, the number of moves you got in your game, okay? The arsenal, or, or, the, the actual the, arsenal. Your, yeah. your arsenal that you yeah. have, uh, uh, the levels. He's a three-level score. You know what I'm saying? Giannis ain't. But they still getting the same points. They still getting the same points. That's the same thing I've been saying about, like, when folks be trying to compare Brum Brun and KD historically, not just in last season. Right, 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 historically. right. 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 They talk about KD such so much of a better score than Brum Brum. They both average 27 for their career. Like, you cannot stop LeBron James from getting to the basket. Nobody stops him but himself. Unless you're T. T says he can be stopped. Well, T got him down there at eight, and T said he, he might need to be T tough, man. That's outside tough. the top 10. And hey, he going hard. He was hot behind what he saw in the Sun Series. He was. I, I, it's no way that he was hotter than me as a Laker fan. But I was hot. He 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 felt some type of way about that. That man that man looked like me out there playing in the intramural with three with four cats that I just was like, there's no way we're gonna win this game. I'm just good with just getting on off the floor. It's time to go to Seymour's and get something to eat. I, I think I think Brun Brun, you're right, you're right. All right, he mailed it in. He mailed it in. He mailed I, I mean, it in. But I don't even think it was about the Suns. I thought, like I said, uh, when we did the segment, I thought Bron Bron looked at it like, ain't no way we coming out of the West without AD. Ain't no sense of me going through this. I got I got Space Jam to promote. But well, what, 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 I'll be honest with you. I would have came on here had he just been just the cerebral assassin that he is. He is, he's cerebral. He's a basketball savant. That's what they tell me. And that's what I agree to. And he to just thought it through because he, he knows I'm going to draw the double. People are going to try to stop me and make these other guys beat me. If he'd have done that throughout the, the length of that series, I don't went Braun went down fighting. He went down going with every trick, fighting with every trick in the book he knows. And whether he won or not, I'd have had major respect for him just going down that way. But to just, you know, KCP miss a shot on the wing and then he just standing there at the elbow on the other end of the floor and just looking down there like, well, Aiden just dunked that or Cameron Johnson just dunked that. It was like, what are we doing? Yeah. He definitely mailed it in. I, I, I think he listened to, I don't know, he listened to the media world a little too much. 
Because he'd have been in a position where he didn't fought and fought hard and he lost. And then people still said, oh, well, you still should have won it. I, I don't was, know if he still man was got 36, that. Man. I, mm -hmm. I think we. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I'm saying uh, uh, he mailed it in. I can't say he have good reason because we don't. What we don't teach quitting around. He ain't no quitting. Well, we don't teach quitting, but I at, at 36, I would say that he said in his head, I can't do this anymore. Uh, again, that's why I say he, he does himself. Him and his team do, do themselves a disservice by keep comparing him to Mike. Compared to Mike and his insanity, okay, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> You're right. But compared to some of these other legends, like Larry Bird, when his back was going out, he was finna had to depend on Reggie Lewis. Like that, that guy was fin was the best player on that team in the, in the early nineties. You you look at uh, we we didn't get a chance to see Magic have his fall off years and have to depend on somebody else because of HIV. Yeah. We saw Tim Duncan take a, a subordinate role, yeah. and we still praise him for it for them championships, even though he was a subordinate. In those championships, like that's true. Like Braun, we he got to get a chance to take a step back. You know what I'm saying? Now his fans ain't gonna do that. Like you said, like what ESPN is saying, if he win this ship, that yeah. that helps him in the goat talk. Then that's what I'm saying. They need to stop that now. Okay, yeah. now cause you got Anthony Davis and you got Russell Westbrook, both of them boys still in their prime. Yeah. Okay, they should be the ones doing all the leg. They, they should, the way, yeah. but. Was Run there anything still incredible? Was there anything else on the list to you, Wells, that 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 didn't sit right with you Giannis outside outside one. of Brian? Giannis should be number one, undoubtedly. ESPN, you need to stop, stop it, y'all. Sitting up here, <laughs> I got BallersLife.com. Shout out to BallersLife.com because I see y'all every day. Y'all are putting out some. Y'all are saying make defense cool again. Y'all are putting some up with somebody clamping up. Y'all trying to make defense cool again. I appreciate that. But ESPN, y'all ain't trying to make defense cool again because this man right here, the guy defensive player of the year, hit him in first team all defense. <laughs> y'all seen him have that legendary play uh, on defense in the finals while dropping a 50 ball. Yeah. While dropping a 50 ball. And y'all, and with less teammates, that man still ain't got no super team. Where, I, where, I, where is Chris Middleton and Drew Holiday on their list? Are, is I, Drew, I, Drew Holiday and Chris, Chris Middleton in their top fifteen? Chris Middleton was nineteen. Nineteen, okay. Um, Drew Holiday was twenty second. That's not a super list. team. You don't have um, a, a, another top fifteen guy on your team. Yeah. What's What's amazing to me though. Is Jason Tatum at 14. But before I go, before you go there, this man Giannis just won the ship. He didn't got an M back to back MVPs in the defense player of the year without playing with a top 15 player. I don't think either one of us nor ESPN had any of his teammates on oh, no. our top no, 15 no, no. list. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Nah, I ain't even give it a thought. Like, and no, you shouldn't. Not. Like, Absolutely. come on, what are we talking about? Like, they gotta stop with this, man. That that was my only thing. Is they being disrespectful? It's because the boy from Africa. I get it. It's because the boy from Africa. But there was a there was a ton of um not a ton, but there were like a bunch of of uh, players on the list that like we talked about. I had brought them up, but it was one of them things where I said, like, they just don't get me going. Like Jason Tatum, uh T boy, Jimmy Butler. Um, no, like, no, oh, no, address that right there because we all thought T was gonna have. I really did. I thought he was gonna have Jimmy. And, and he didn't give and he his did no. Now he been telling us about Jimmy for years and yeah, then and didn't did put not. Jimmy on his list. Where was he at this year? Oh, yeah. okay. let, let's be let's I'm keep it up. Okay. Let's keep it up. Let's keep okay. it up. Okay. Where was he I, at? I, I, I just didn't know you were gonna did, go there. Hey, anybody going. seen that motherfucking Bobby? Let's do this. Let's do this. That's what and Bernie this, told me. So, so we see, <laughs> we see this list. We see this list, right? We we see our list. Is there one player that may be outside of all of our top fifteen that we say when the season is over, guarantee you that person will be in the top fifteen? For example, do you think Zion Williamson guaranteed 
when the next season is over is in everybody's top 15. Zion, Zion was 23 on the list. Right. On ESPN's list. Right. He just had foot surgery. Yep. I, I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't know because I don't know what he's going to do defensively. That's my question they, about they, Zion. They don't care about that. Oh, oh you talking about? I'm just talking about like, my list. For okay, me, okay. I want to see Zion take a lead defensively. And they even said it in this write-up. Yeah, I want to see him go further defensively, be a two-way type of guy. He's got the motor. We've all seen the motor. We know what he's got in terms of that gear. But is he going to commit defensively? Because at the end of the day, he's going to have to be – that guy for the New Orleans Pelicans, unless he gets shipped up out of there, no doubt. he's gonna have to be that guy. That might have been demand a trade to you. And, and that's what I believe is gonna happen. Yeah. I think they're gonna ship him out of town right now. Today, I personally think he's gonna get shipped out of town for about six more first round picks and three more second round picks, like the Lakers gave the Hornets, I mean the Pelicans for AD. Because it's just same it, bag. I was just thinking about like that that next list. Um, guys like Zion or, or, or Zach Levine or Carl I would say Anthony Kyrie Tyler. Irving, but he he don't want to take no shot, so I don't yeah, even yeah. know if he gonna play. So yeah. I put him, I put him in my fifteen. I put him at fifteen for me. Yeah, because of what he did this year. I I don't see nobody That's else cool. really. And honestly, I don't not see in the top else. fifteen. Not in the top fifteen. I don't. It's tough, man. I don't it's see tough. anybody else. Like Cat doesn't have the motor. Zion doesn't have the motor. I'm not a fan of Tatum because he just hasn't taken that next step. They have they have done all these comparisons. They have put him, they have lockstepped him with Kobe and all that. And they've said he's that guy that reveres Kobe, but I ain't seen that guy. To me, Jalen Brown has yeah. got better motor than Jason Tatum. And yeah. I'm just telling you, and I, just, I, I think I think that's him. that's from that that's on that defensive end. Tatum no, he don't have that walk to. Am mm-hmm. I missing some or did they? Get themselves out with uh Kawhi being 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 injured. I don't see Kawhi anywhere. Yeah, I didn't I didn't see him on the list. I just assumed that since they're saying 2021, 2022, that they're assuming like he's not gonna play. So that, that that's the way I took it. That's the way I took it because the, the ranking is for who they think is gonna be great in the upcoming season, and therefore he's not gonna be there. So that's the way I took it. Let me let me ask y'all this: What y'all think about Paul at twelve? Paul George that's, at twelve. That's your boy. I, I'm surprised you ain't saying that at first. <laughs> what y'all think about Paul George at twelve? I know what I think. His I talent, like his talent is there. He too. Oh, high. Actually, he you know, I actually had Paul in my top fifteen. Yeah, talent okay. is there. I don't like him at twelve. Yeah. To me, he's a he's yeah. a top twenty player. Yeah. Um, they said yeah. the same thing about Jermaine Jackson. Hold on, hold on. Then y'all tell me about that that Steph when y'all were getting on me about Steph. Then y'all get how me and say Steph got what third in MVP. I think it was three in that. I think he was three in that 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 Paul that George game. recently in, in the recent years when he was with OKC. Okay, so well, okay, yeah, got third in MVP. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, I didn't say that. I don't. I don't remember saying that. But he got no. no y'all took me to task over Steph. We all know y'all took me to task. Oh yeah, over I, I took you to task over yeah. Steph, but I don't know about you know no. I just yeah, did I, I didn't say the MVP. Well, I but, said but that he was, was a scoring champion, and he was a 50, 40, 90 guy. So him being third MVP did, doesn't play a role in, in y'all support of him or nothing? Nah, I just – Well, no, nah, I know you're trying to have a point. But I nah, can check the I, tape. I, the tape, nah. the tape don't yeah, lie. Yeah, the tape is true. <laughs> the, 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 the but I just, think, I just think today Stephen Curry <laughs> is one of the top five players in the NBA. That's what um, I'm He's unstoppable. He's, he's unstoppable. He may not be able to stop a lot of people, but he is un. Stoppable. There's nobody that can stop him, and so that's why he's a top five player. Top five guys, they're, they're unstoppable, no matter who so, it is. So if he's unstoppable and he averaged two more points than Bradley Beal, what does that make Bradley Beal? I, t- I told you that's my mulligan. I got a no guy, problem with that. No, 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 no. So I, I'm trying to figure out how high should Bradley Beal be then, because all we talking Bradley, about with Steph is the score. Bradley, Bradley, Bradley Beal don't have how, a team. How since. much does two more points? Still no, had no team success. No, this I'm year. Not I think he had no team success. He made the playoffs. I'm not even gonna I, say that. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, I, I was just gonna say for me, Stephen Curry is a better creator. Remember what I said? Like for for Steph, 
the offense begins at half court, which means everything has to change. And I ain't talking about just assist numbers, but just the flow of the game has to change the moment Steph Curry goes over half court. Um, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not believing that when it comes I to Bradley up. Bill. Steph averaged 32. Bradley Bill averaged 31. So yeah. it wasn't even he. Bradley Bill averaged 31.3. So seven tenths of a point. See, and here's what I'm going to say. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, both of those guys had to score those points for their teams. But why do we for view systems, Bradley's points so systems. much differently than Steph's points? That's what I'm I doing. don't. I put him on my list. Then I, then I but put we got Steph. We're saying Steph is top five for averaging 32. Yeah. But Brad, at best on our list, who who had is, could, is, could Brad is, average that same 30 I ball in at, the West? I had him at 13. Could Brad average that same 30 ball in the West? Possibly. Is Bradley Bill in your top five? No. Neither is still. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. Where's Steph at on your list? Neither is still. Where's Steph at? Where's Steph at on your list? He top 10. Where is Bradley Bill at on your list? Top 15. He was 15, wasn't he? Or 14. He should be. What I'm saying is Steph shouldn't be top five. That's what I'm saying. He should absolutely be top five. He should absolutely be top five. Just because of the score. By y'all yeah. logic, no, 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 not logic. just because of the score. I'm like, right, the creator, the because of because of how he impacts the game. The moment he, he crosses half impact. court, your defense changes. You have to you have to completely switch the way you play him. With Bradley Beal, your defense does not begin when he crosses half court. You got to do some amazing things to stop him, and clearly it doesn't work because, like you just said, he drops 31. I'm just telling you, Stephen, excuse me, what else, Stephen Curry? What else? What else, yeah. Stephen Curry? Is a game changer. He changed the game, period. But he still does that today. Like his his style of play still changes the game. It's the very thing you like about Luca. It's the very thing. Like he when he crosses half court, everything changes. Yeah, but Luca Luca so, had a better record in the West than, than Steph did. Oh, if he, if he, if he changed the game, he didn't change it good enough. He let's just say. Let, enough. Let's just go on call. Let's just say what it is. Let me just say what it is. Steve, tell, tell him what it is. Steve you. Kerr is not that great of a coach without talent. Man, it's the NBA. This is the players' no, league. This no, ain't the coach that's the league. truth. That's this the ain't truth. The coach league. This ain't he the ain't got the talent. What What is he done? This ain't it. No, this ain't the, uh, this, Brooks this, is over no, here. This, this on the players. I just want to say that I don't <laughs> have some player at five okay. on my list. But you got him at Joe. I got him at six. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. America, y'all tell us, y'all chime in. Look at ESPN list and y'all uh tell us what y'all <laughs> thought about their list. <laughs> I got him at six. And uh tell us where y'all got Giannis, tell us where y'all got KD, <laughs> where y'all got yeah. Steph. Tell us where y'all got Brum Brum. Hey. <laughs> oh, you ain't talking to me. My bad. No, no, oh. nobody talking to you about LeBron. No, oh. no. Somebody, oh, huh? boy. Hey, is that hey. what you said? Let us know what y'all think, America. Put it on something. My kids wanted me to tell y'all to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me across all social media platforms. Like the videos and share them. Did I forget anything? Enter on the post notifications. Y'all heard them. And also, visit Statement Tees, LLC.com and shop with us. That's Statement Tees. Every t-shirt you wear makes a statement.